Hey Catchinos, it has been a hot minute since I have filmed a Get Ready With Me video. I'm currently in New York and my life has changed a lot so I thought it was a good time for me to finally come back with a Get Ready With Me video and update you guys on how I'm doing. You guys can update me too in the comment section, I do read them. And I miss you guys so much, I always say this but yeah. So, let's get straight to it, okay? But first, I want to show you guys my new makeup bag. I got this from Miniso, I think. Yeah, Miniso, and it was like so cute and it has all my makeup in it. So super convenient and we're just gonna crack this baby open and go in with it. So first things first, concealer. I have, I've moved on to e.l.f. I have wanted to try e.l.f. ever since I was in Korea, but Korea doesn't really sell e.l.f. So I was like, what would it be like? It's super good. I got the hydrating version because my skin is really dry. Um, so let's go on with it, okay? So, first off, I think I'll just update you guys on how, just like a walkthrough on how it was since I came to New York. By the way, if I keep looking here, it's because I have a mirror here, okay? Okay, so basically, as soon as I, guys, I know I always do this in my get ready with me videos, but I already did my base and I sucked at talking while doing it. So I'm just going to start over with my whole update while doing my, while moving on to my eyebrows and blush. So I hope you guys don't mind. So moving on to blush and I will be walking you through um, my whole journey since I've come to New York. So first week, deathly sick. <laughs> as soon as I got off the plane from New York, I got so sick. I think I got a flu, like the flu from the plane because a lot of people were coughing on there. It's sus, right? I know, but I got really sick for the first week. I was just in bed, just rotting away in bed and feeling really homesick and feeling really lonely because I, I mean, I do have relatives in New York, which I'm very grateful for. But still, like, I, I didn't really have anyone that was my age or I felt like I could be that comfortable with. You know what I mean? And I missed all my friends in Korea because the last day that I spent in Korea, I spent it with two of my besties, Yejin and Blair. You guys could see the pictures um, in my Instagram pinned. And we basically had a sleepover and we stayed up all night because we had to wake up at 5 a.m. And we were like, you know, we can't do that. Like, let's just stay up, right? So we stayed up and they dropped me off and they cried and it was like a really emotional moment for me be for me and them because it's like I'm starting my life to be honest completely new in like a new country from South Korea to New York that's kind of crazy you know but I really needed it because my end goal like my biggest goal in life like my biggest dream in life it can't really take place in Korea. Like New York is way better for opportunities and things like that. So also that, and I needed a new beginning, you know? Um, I went through the most excruciating pain I have ever went through in my life through a breakup. And I was like, you know what? Like, yo, I gotta leave. <laughs> like I, I gotta leave. So I just did. And okay, fast forward to the first week I was sick, right? I, got, I started getting better and as soon as I started getting better, I had to really just get a lot of stuff done like making my bank accounts, getting my social security card and stuff like that. I am a US citizen, which made it way easier. Thank God, but um, yeah, that took up a lot of my time. Still didn't have friends <laughs> at this point. And the thing is like, I came to New York about, no, a little over a month ago, but I came right after my breakup, like one month after my breakup, I came here and it's like my friends really helped me through it. it they really did help me through it because they kept me like busy. They kept me um, accompanied with me, so I didn't feel like that alone, but since I'm in New York, everything's new, I just like freshly out of a breakup i was like feeling like shit you know what i mean i was really feeling like shit and it's like i was constantly around people i know i say i keep saying that i was lonely right but that doesn't mean that i wasn't around people i was constantly around people constantly talking to people but that really drained me like i think i'm a very um friendly person i make friends kind of easily i am an extrovert but like my social battery runs out super quickly and once it runs out like i just kind of shut down and i need to like be in my room and recharge like that's just the type of person i am 
so i would have like days where i would just keep crying you know because i'm so overwhelmed by everything and i feel so alone and just i feel so alone but i want to be alone like it was weird i was going through a lot and it's like at this point in my life i was just you know begging god i was like god just give me a win like i really need a win you know what i mean i really needed a win and i don't like i'm not trying to force my beliefs on anyone this is just me right i am a christian i've always been a christian i have had like a very weird relationship with god like when i was deep into my depression for a few years i kind of hated god because i was like you know what god's a no-show like i'm praying every day for things to get better or for him to just you know take me away but none of those things were happening so i was like you know what god's a no-show but my faith has gotten a lot better now so i prayed to him i was like god i really need a win like i need a win and weirdly things just started getting better as soon as i you know pray to him about it like not long after i did that i met my beautiful sweet cousin stephanie i didn't even know she existed to be honest i'm not very family oriented i am not so when i came to new york it was kind of like a like whiplash it was like kind of a shock to me because my family my relatives in new york are very family oriented and i found out i have like this amazing beautiful sweet smart funny cousin out of nowhere and i was like you know what you're my new bestie right and as soon as i met her i was able to sleep over at her house for like two days and i have met like she's so i just love her so much okay i've only seen her for a few days but like she's i would do anything for her like i would do anything for her i just love her so much right so she was honestly like kind of like my first friend like my first bestie like the first person that i could really open up to about things like since i've come here and i'm so grateful for her existence and i love her so so much and this is crazy okay so this is like day nine or eight yeah day eight or nine since i've come to new york i met my my cousin right and then we decided to go to a mall we decided to go to a mall and we we're like yeah let's hang out at the mall and then we went to the mall right and I was like, oh my gosh, do you want me to do your makeup? And she was like, yeah. So we decided to look for a spot to sit down so I could do her makeup, right? And we sat down and there was like a bunch of tables, right? There's a bunch of tables. We sat down here. But then as soon as we sat down, this guy just walked up to like the other table and he sat down and he started reading this book while listening to music. And the thing is, my, my cousin knew the type of guys like i'm into like the type of look that i'm into and he was he fit the criteria so she was like isn't that like your type isn't he your type and i was like yeah he is like i wasn't really thinking about you know getting into a relationship for like at least i thought that i would get into a relationship like next year or something i didn't know that you know i wasn't looking for something that's what i mean but as soon as i said like yeah like he's he's my type she just walked up to him the brave girl she is she's like the bravest person i know she has like the biggest balls ever like <laughs> and she just walked up to him and she was like how old are you and he said oh i'm turning 19 this year or something or 18 i have no idea and as soon as he said that i was like I was standing behind her because I didn't expect her to, you know, walk up to him, but she did. So I was like, you know what? This is my time. This is my time to to gather my courage and talk to him. So I was like, hi. And then I introduced myself to him and I asked for his socials. And it was so like, it just happened so fast, right? That person is my boyfriend now. And then we've been dating for over a month. And... I know that some of you guys might be like, Damn, you move on quickly. But look, I think it's a miracle that I was even able to move on from like the pain that I've been through and like everything that happened in my last relationship. I'm really grateful for his existence. Also, I wanted to show you guys this lip oil that I got from Miniso with the Hello Kitty bag. 
It's so cute! It's a lip oil with a bunch of Hello Kitties on the top. This makes some like really good ASMR triggers, so I'm gonna use this in my like new videos, but yeah. This lip oil and I don't have lashes with me, so I'm just gonna, you know, do my basic ass everyday makeup. <laughs> So yeah, that's the, I met my boyfriend nine days into coming to New York and I got a Starbucks job like two weeks after I came here. Cause as soon as I came here, it was like really just like bam, bam, bam. My aunt had like a whole like plan on what I should do, like what I need to get done in order for me to adjust and settle in really well. As soon as I came here, I got a new boyfriend. I got a new job. I, and then, Ever since then, like things have just started like getting so much better for me. I made like really good friends who are my besties, my girlies now, and it's just been good. It's been, it's been good. I am so, look how far I've come. This is what I mean. I always say life gets better, right? I'm always like, life gets better. It always does. To be honest, most times when I say that, I'm convincing myself, but I've been saying that for years now. And every time, I prove myself right. Life gets better. Like I just a few months ago, I was in literally rock bottom, rock bottom, and I couldn't even like upload consistently for like three months or two months. But life really did get better and it always does. And I'm so grateful for that, you know, because it's just. OK, sorry, I'm going to be trying my ego cell now, <laughs> so just life can truly change at any given moment and i'm so grateful for that okay now this side i'm not really gonna talk that much while doing this i like that yeah I wish I had lashes with me, but I kind of like abused them all. Like they're just gone. So yeah, those are my Aiko cell. And now that I did that, I'm gonna go to highlighter. No, actually, maybe I should um use eyeliner. I might, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Hmm? Okay, now that I've done my eyeliner, I will be telling you about my crazy ass Starbucks hours because I work 14 hours a day, okay? Like, look, I'm I'm severely hoping that um, my hours don't stay this long, like stay the same that long because 14 hours is kind of crazy. I mean, I'm used to working long hours because I was I waitressed in Korea for some long hours but you know 14 hours is pretty crazy and plus i live in staten island like staten island is like an hour away from manhattan it's, it takes me like an an hour and a half to really get to my job i mean i'm used to it you know like i'm used to um i'm used to it taking that long for me to get to the city so it's okay but at the same time like the distance is fine as long as the hours aren't too bad but the hours are pretty bad like it's 14 hours a day what can i do i take what i get i i take what i can get that's the thing i will take what i can get and um once my body starts actually breaking down i'm gonna ask the manager if i could change things and um yeah some of you may be like rose why didn't you apply for a job in you know staten island if you live there i could i could have but there's nothing to do here in my opinion like i'd rather hang out in the city like all the time so i was like you know i'm just gonna go to the city i don't regret it though i don't and everyone at starbucks is really nice to me i already made a few friends and i'm training at the moment so wish me luck guys like please wish me luck i'm still going to be uploading like at least once a week because of the schedule i have i'm off on fridays and saturdays but i work five times a week yeah so i think i'm gonna upload on um either fridays or saturdays yeah 
that's the vibe anyway like i'm kind of switching it up by adding this on like my nose because i usually don't do any nose contour like that but i saw like Tana k this tiktoker's um makeup and i was like oh my god her nose is super cute so i'm kind of trying to copy that I mean, I hope it works out. I don't want to. I don't want it to be like weird. Wait, I think it actually looks cute. Oh my gosh, I'm really happy. That's so nice. Oh, by the way, I hope you guys are enjoying the background music because I I usually do Undertale or Minecraft, I think, but this time it's. Relaxing Tomodachi Life OST with rain. Yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying the music. And this song in particular that's playing right now is my favorite. Like, I just love acting like I'm in like a silly little video game. You know, I think it's like, it, it motivates me more, so. Okay, I think that we are done with the nose contour. It doesn't look too bad in real life too, but I think if I add a highlighter, it's gonna look even better. So let's do that. Anyways, I have missed you guys so much. I'm sorry if I'm not like that interactive. It's just, I, I just admit that I am, my social battery runs out really quickly. So after I like, I talk to a few people, it's just, I kind of need to recover, which sounds so, I guess, weird, but it's completely true for me, so yeah. Some new nose highlight. That's so cute, look at- I'm telling you. Okay. I like it. So, now that I did that, I'm going to be adding some highlighter under my eyes as well and in my inner corner because I always do that. Anyways, I want to tell you guys that life gets better. It always does. And future me that may watch this um, with... Who may watch this, whatever situation you're in, just remember that things get better. They always will. Just don't give up and keep going. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. And I promise you that it's gonna feel better soon. I mean, I hope future me is in a good place. Not like, I, oh my gosh, it sounds like I want her dead, no. Like, I mean, I hope she's in a place where she feels happiness. I'm actually gonna add a bit more blush on my nose. Yeah, for finishing touches. I don't know if that made it worse, but you know, I, I fuck with it. I fuck with it, I like it, so yeah. Like that, and oh, also my beauty mark. Cause I have a beauty mark over here, as you can see. It's kind of cover up, covered up with all the makeup, but I'm going to be stamping it on there again. with my hair done to be honest i'm not sure if i want to leave my hair down or put it up in like twin tails let's just kind of try it out okay so um by the way if any of you guys are wondering what new york is like let me tell you okay new york is great like it truly has its pros and cons like it's it's a beautiful city like i love the architecture here and you get to meet like so many different kind of people but it is so dirty new york city is so dirty you turn a street you don't even have to like turn the wrong street or the wrong corner if you turn a street or a corner it's just gonna smell like piss like it smells like piss um surprisingly i haven't seen not even like one rat like i thought that i was gonna see like a lot of rats like i have yet to see a rat running around which i'm kind of thankful for 
but yeah New York is like that um it's it's okay I like it this is a friendship bracelet that I have with my best friend Blair I got her the blue version, the baby blue version of this, and she got me the pink version of this. And this is my bracelet with my boyfriend. Um, he has a brown one, which is super cute. And yeah, okay. I don't know if I'm digging this look or not. Let me see. I think it's kind of cute, but at the same time, it's just like... Okay, I didn't like the twin tails on me, so I just um, let my hair down. I think this is um, the end of the get ready with me. I updated everything that I have. Also, um, this is the look. I know that my makeup tutorial is always the same in every single one of my get ready with me since like last year, but I just found a makeup look and I stuck with it, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my little update. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for caring about me and asking for um, an update. I will be uploading another roleplay so soon. So I love you guys so much again. And I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. Know that I, you always have a friend, Rose, on your side. I'm always here. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing day, amazing night. And see you in the next video.